Welcome to the Pharmacist Voice Podcast, Episode 276. I'm your host, Kim Newlove. If you are new to my drug name pronunciation series, welcome. In this episode, I'll cover the pronunciations of tocilizumab, A-A-Z-G, Tyen, and Actemra. I'll divide each drug name into syllables, tell you which syllable to emphasize, and then I'll share my sources. The written pronunciations can be helpful, so you can see them in the show notes on thepharmacistvoice.com. I picked tocilizumab AAZG for today's episode in honor of two back-to-back sessions that I attended at the annual meeting of the Ohio Pharmacists Association that was in Columbus, Ohio, the weekend of April 5th through 7th, 2024. On Sunday morning, April 7th, I attended a session that was led by Dr. Karen Keir. The session was titled, New Drug Update 2024. During the session, Dr. Keir mentioned Tyen, or tocilizumab AAZG. The session right after that was titled, Biosimilar is a Four-Letter Word, Making Sense of the Suffix. This second session was led by four outpatient clinical pharmacists from UT Access Pharmacy. Go Rockets! Their names are Dr. Megan Fox, Dr. Sarah Lorenzen, Dr. Dana Ortiz, and Dr. Amanda Porter. I saw the biosimilar theme as a sign, a sign that I should pick a biosimilar drug for today's episode. Now, before we get into the pronunciations, I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of the FDA Purple Book? The FDA Purple Book. I learned about the FDA Purple Book in that second session about biosimilar suffixes. I had never heard of this book. There is a link to the Purple Book in the show notes on thepharmacistvoice.com in case you want to check it out. It is the database of licensed biological products. I looked up tocilizumab AAZG and I saw that it is a biosimilar for the reference product Actemra. Actemra is also tocilizumab, but Tyen is tocilizumab hyphen A-A-Z-G. You got to use that four-letter suffix. In the second session, which was about biosimilars, I also learned that brand is too generic as biologic is too biosimilar. In today's episode, Actemra is the biologic and Tyen is the biosimilar. It's not the same as a brand generic relationship, but there is a relationship between biologics and biosimilars. Biologics are the reference products for biosimilars. I hope that makes sense. It took me a minute to digest that on April 7th, so if this is new to you as well, feel free to back up the podcast 30 seconds and listen again. And now that you know why I picked tocilizumab, AAZG, Tyen, and Actemra, let's dive into the pronunciations. Let's go with tocilizumab, AAZG, first. Tocilizumab has five syllables. To, like the toes on your feet. Si, like cilia. Liz, like Liz Taylor, the famous actress. You, like the letter U in the alphabet and MAB, which stands for monoclonal antibody, and it also rhymes with CAB, like you're catching a cab to go across town. CAB rhymes with MAB. Put that all together and you get tocilizumab. Emphasize toe and Liz. Liz gets the most emphasis. See if you can hear the emphasis when I say it again. Tocilizumab. Tocilizumab. Now let's talk about the suffix. There's a four-letter suffix on the end of Tyen's product, tocilizumab, A-A-Z-G. The non-proprietary naming guidelines for biological products includes a section about proposing a suffix for a biosimilar product like Tyen. Fresenius Kabi followed those guidelines, and Tyen is tocilizumab plus a distinguishing suffix composed of four lowercase letters attached to the core name with a hyphen. That is why Tyen is tocilizumab hyphen A-A-Z-G. Of course, when we talk about it, we don't say the hyphen. I'll put a link to those guidelines that I just mentioned in the show notes, just in case you want to read them. Just a little light reading for you. (laughs) All right. What is my source for the pronunciation of tocilizumab A-A-Z-G? 
the pronunciation of tocilizumab, just that five-syllable word, came from the USP Dictionary Online. And the AAZG I got from Media Relations from Fresenius Kabi. I did not know if you were supposed to say it as as <laughs> or if you were supposed to say the, the four letters. As I have learned, it is A-A-Z-G. The only dumb question is the one you don't ask. So I am glad that I reached out to Media Relations and got a, an official statement. Thank you very much, Media Relations at Fresenius Kabi. Let's move on to Tayan next. Tayan has two syllables. Tai like a necktie and N like the letter N. Put both syllables together and you get Tayan. Emphasize N. See if you can hear that emphasis when I say it again. Tayan. Tayan. The pronunciation of Tayan came from the medication guide for Tayan. I spoke to Media Relations for Fresenius Kabi, and they said that the drug name is pronounced similar to the city in Wyoming, Cheyenne. The medication guide says Tayan. Media Relations says Tayan. They sound approximately the same to me, so I will just let you pick the way that you want to say it. Tayan or Tayan. Tayan? Tayan. I'll put a link to the medication guide in the show notes on thepharmacistsvoice.com. The last drug name today is Actemra. Actemra has three syllables. Ak, like the word pack, as in I need to pack for vacation. Tem, like Temple University. And Ra, like rubber. Put all three syllables together and you get Actemra. The medication guide for Actemra divides up the syllables very nicely, three syllables there, but they do not indicate which syllable to emphasize. I tend to emphasize tem, but you don't need to emphasize any of them according to the medication guide. See if you can hear any emphasis when I say it again. Actemra. Actemra. That does it for Actemra. Let's review. We talked about the pronunciations for tocilizumab, AAZG, Tayan, and Actemra. I divided all three drug names into syllables, told you which syllables to emphasize, and then I shared my sources. The written pronunciations are in the show notes, and that does it for this episode. Thank you for joining me to learn how to say tocilizumab, AAZG, Tayan, and Actemra. To find the show notes for this episode, go to thepharmacistsvoice.com, click on the podcast tab, and then search for episode 276. In the show notes, you'll find the written pronunciations for all three drug names, links to the other 30 episodes in my drug name pronunciation series, my social media links, and more. When you check out the links in the show notes, feel free to connect with me on social media. LinkedIn is my favorite. If you know someone who needs to learn how to say tocilizumab, AAZG, Tayan, or Actemra, please share this episode with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist's Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Thanks for listening today. I will talk to you next Friday. I have a special surprise episode planned. It's supposed to be my spring update, but I'm changing things up. I'll talk to you then.